Fala, please stand by. Fala free. And this is a Leo Game of Fun Time. Thank you so much, guys. Leo Game of Fun Time. We're the Lions. Brave the Lions. We got a. Uh, the gamer video game. We got it works. Game Studios. Leo Studios. Lions Studios. Thank you so much on the TV. TV. Thank you so much. Obviously, got 2002. We got 2008. Thank you so much. Obviously, we got speed runs. Obviously, thank you so much. And Fallout 3. We got speed up. Speed up, faster up. Thank you so much, Leo Gamer Fun Time. Fallout 3, we got fun, enjoy. Enjoy the Fallout. Sugar Bombs. <coughs> Bless you guys, we got speed. I'm so excited, we got full movies. On the Leo I Lions. Leo the Lions, Game of Fun Time. Mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stand the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like these super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. I was hoping you'd see it my way. If the water purifier can be activated, it can be used to distribute toxins that will eliminate any mutated creatures upon ingestion. The longer it runs, the cleaner the world becomes. I need you to see that it starts running and that the necessary modification is made. In front of you is a vial of modified FEV virus. Based on schematics of the purifier controls, it can be inserted directly into the console. Then enter the code necessary to start the purifier. The automated systems will take care of the rest. That's all you need to do. It's very simple. Excellent. I'm pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time. I suggest you travel there immediately. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'll do what I can to help speed your exit. And why would I do that? Well, I'm clearly the best hope for the people of the Wasteland. What alternative would you suggest? Without the Enclave, what will the world do? Yes, I suppose it is. Very well. You shall have your wish. Once you've left, I'll put an end to the Enclave. I cannot stop Colonel Orton, however. That much will be up to you. I suppose, then, that this is goodbye. You'll have to see yourself out. I have preparations to make. Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools. I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. I appreciate the offer, but I must decline. I have an entire world to explore, and I must not be delayed any further. I have read about a great museum of history to the south. Perhaps I will head there. Goodbye, my friend. Perhaps I will join you in the future if your goals are virtuous enough to draw me away.
You wanna go to Big Town? Of course you do! It's east of Little Lamplight. Come on, let's go there. It's not that far away. We'll be there in no time. All right, yeah! Big Town, here we come. Hey, look, I don't just let any son of a bitch in my town. I'm taking a risk making an exception for you. So you're welcome in my town, at least until you start screwing up. Once that bullshit starts, you're out on your own again. Good, better stay that way, Mungo. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Well, it'd lighten the load for our scab team a lot. Since you're pretty much one of us, here's the deal. For every piece of strange meat or buff out you bring in, you'll be repaid with one cube of fungus. You couldn't ask for a better deal. Talk with you Claire for the strange meat. Or to Lucy about the buff out. They've got uses for them. Yeah, that's nice. Scram. Are you lost? Watch it. Why is this taking so long? Hey. How are things treating you? Later. Why is this taking so long? I know, let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this man. His name was Super Duke Dave, and he went all around rescuing people from hey. Super- Hey, there. You have any new cola? Even just a bit? Can I have some? Be your best friend? Honestly, totally. not even kidding. Yeah, money is always good. It's definitely always good than less. Because no is no good at all. Got any new for me? I'll trade you whatever I got. From where to go cola? Anytime. You're for sit. You're for sit. Well, I found a lucky bullet this morning. It's just a measly old tan mill. But I know for sure it's lucky, because it was sitting there all alone out of its clip, and now fired off. Want it? Hooray! I win a new cola game. What's the prize? cola? That's all I got right now. Come back tomorrow, maybe we'll have more. And you can have more, Nuka. For me, I have more, Nuka. Yeah? Okay, see you next time, mister. For mutants and slavers and other nasty things. And one day, a spaceship from outer space landed right in front of me. And was our brave hero scared? No, not at all. It the end. Watch Thank it. Thank you. You in town, huh? If McCready let you in, that's good enough for me. Well, enough of formalities. Who are you? And how'd you get McCready to let you in here? In that case, I'm Nick Nat, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? I sure do. No one believes me, though. It was old Pinkerton. You know, the ghost of Rivet City. He's a genius. See you around. Thank you very much. Are you lost? Are we there yet? Hey. Are we there yet? I know. Once upon a time, there was this dog. I can't wait to get the big town. Okay, but please don't leave me here by myself. You wanna go to Big Town? Of course you do! All right! His name was Joking Joe. And... And one day, a spaceship...
spaceship from outer space landed right in front of him, and a big green alien jumped out and started eating people. And was our so-called hero scared? Hello? You bet he was. The end. Good to see you. Why is this taking so long? Everything looks okay here. Are we there yet? <laughs> Find him. You don't look so tough. I know. Let's make up a story to pass the time. Well, someone in the title came down. There was this big... Uh, God his name was... Jump. You're wounded. Let me bandage that. Sure, I could patch you up. Nothing too serious. I don't work for free, though. Let's say 75 caps. This won't hurt a bit. Nah, just kidding. It will probably hurt a lot. Hold still. And he went all around making everyone laugh really hard with all those funny jokes. See? That wasn't so bad. Anything else I can do for you? Beckerton, eh? That name takes me way back. Claimed to have cured radiation poisoning. Or was it food poisoning? I don't recall. He was always telling folks that he founded Rivet City. All he did was break off the front of it. Or did he die there? I don't recall. Take care of yourself. And one day, a spaceship from outer Is there a problem? Are those rumors still floating around? Look, I don't have time for swapping ghost stories with you. Pinkerton's a legend. Dead or long gone. Don't care much, as I've got real people to take care of. Go bother someone else. Carry on, then. Space landed right in front of him, and a big green alien jumped out and started eating people. And was our brave hero scared? No. The end. Are you lost? been rather busy lately asking questions investigating so is that it you're some kind of investigator a detective for hire or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone please tell me i'd really like to know fine let's cut to the chase my name is victoria watts i work for a movement whose goals are directly opposed to your own apparently it seems you're trying very hard to locate an android my associates and i have tried very hard to hide you can see how that puts us at odds you really want help take this it's an internal component from the very android you're searching for don't ask how i obtained it present it to dr zimmer in rivet city tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse he'll believe you do that, and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that, and you'll save the man's life. We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Yes, if we are able, but there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. Of course, if you help me, and thus the android, God and the universe will smile upon you. Is there any better compensation? You know what you need to do. I know, let's make up a story to pass the time. Once upon a time, Good there was you. this robot. His name was Joking Joe, and he went all around making everyone laugh. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Ain't seen many of those around lately. They're tough to come by. You mean Genius Boy? Yeah, I've heard of him. Supposedly built Rivet City. They probably think he invented bread, too. Idiots. Lately, he's even been blamed for the noises of the broken ship bow. Anyone with half a brain would know that's just the Mirelurks. What you looking for? Thanks. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. Really hard, and all those funny jokes. And one day, this giant suit, and what did our hero do? The end. Are you lost? Good to see you. Hey there. Don't mind me. I'm just Are you lost? Space here. Why is this taking so long? I might have trouble. Pick up a story. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name, curator of this little slice of American history. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me and the Society's collection here. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. In the TC ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful, the place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. 
Be careful. The archives are infested with who knows what. Pass the time. Once upon a time, there was this robot. His name was Joking Joe. And he went all around making everyone laugh really hard for all those funny jokes. Hey there. And one day, a giant ant came up to him and started talking like he wasn't scared. And was our so-called... Are you sure you know where you're going? I mean, you look kind of like you might be lost. Don't be long. Fala, please stand by. Fala free. And this is a Leo Game of Fun Time. Thank you so much, guys. Leo Game of Fun Time. We're the Lions. Brave the Lions. We got a, uh, the gamer video game. We got it works. Game Studios. Leo Studios. Lions Studios. Thank you so much on the TV. TV. Thank you so much. Obviously, we got 2002. We got 2008. Thank you so much. Obviously, we got speed runs. Obviously, thank you so much. We have Fallout 3. We got speed up. Speed up, faster up. Thank you so much, Leo Gamer Fun Time. Fallout 3. We got fun. Enjoy. Enjoy the Fallout. Sugar Bombs. <coughs> Bless you guys, you got speed. I'm so excited, got full movies. On the Leo I Lions. Leo the Lions, Game of Fun Time.